contemporary art, etc. You're actually not allowed to have your own opinion and choice. You know, you have to follow within the confines of whatever you are taught or whatever you're told based on something somebody else do. Man, please. I paint whenever I feel like it, however I feel like it. It's like nothing makes me do anything. I do whatever I want to do. I feel like it's just free. Like a freestyle, like rhyming off the top of the dome. And freestyling in hip hop is going off the top of the dome. It's not like this pre manufactured stuff. So, creating artists like imagination at work, freestyling at work. And even when I have like a fresh series or something I write down and think of, it's still like that. Um, I guess the reason I started painting the Ray Gun 81 series is because I want to show my depiction of the black experience <clears throat> after a period of time and during periods of time in the United States where Black Americans or African Americans, Negroes, Coloreds, Nubians, etc., etc., all these things, people, property, three fifths of a man, are placed in these little sections and forced to live in like a restricted type of way. So it's my depiction of rejection, suffering, you know, displacement, just a waste of time. And still persevering and just rocking out, being hip hop, being dope, being fresh, being strong, militant, powerful people, regardless of the situation, you know, you you forced to live in a certain way or without things, welfare, you know, poverty and all this stuff, and you still functioning, rocking the gold chain on the joint. I tell you, to crack a smile in a situation like that is some powerful stuff, dude. On everything. I think the illest part is being born in America, whatever, time slavery into your ancestry, you kind of don't have the right to make your own opinions. If you think about something like art, art, black art, contemporary art, etc., you're actually not allowed to have your own opinion or choice. You know, you have to follow within the confines of whatever you are taught or whatever you're told based on something somebody else do. If you've ever been to art school or anything similar, mostly what they pattern everything on is what somebody else did. Somebody Greek did. Somebody other than where you used to live down the street around the corner from Jim, Jim Bowden house, what they did. That's not really your basis or your emphasis based on what they normally would teach. It's changing. But that's the gimmick. The gimmick is to change. So instead of me ever following whatever gimmick or trend, I didn't know nothing else. I didn't grow up drawing from cartoon characters and all these things, these European things that I saw coming up. I grew up drawing from what it looked like in my neighborhood so or in wherever I was at. So I remember the uh, queen of, of the sea on Stony Island, there was a restaurant seeing that black silhouette head or back when my mama used to go to Jamaica and she'd take pictures of the art around the areas of Montego Bay or wherever she went that type of art that's what I drew from so anything that's like African based textile wise or 
patterns, batiks, or anything that we did as black African culture, whatever, all over the world, Bahia, Haiti, etc., indigenous everywhere, that's what I painted from. I've always painted from that soulful experience, that indigenous experience. I never painted from some Roman Greek comic book white superhero experience. That's not me, son. That's not me. No, 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 no. Totally always against that stuff. But yeah, it's for art, man. Just do whatever you feel like doing. It's like can't nobody make you do nothing. You shouldn't do nothing you don't feel in your heart, in your imagination. You know, even if I paint like from still lives, cups and all that crap, I'm gonna flip that joint. I'm gonna flip it to how I want it to be. Because I don't, I don't like limiting how I think, how I feel. You know what I'm saying? In real life, I get if, if somebody didn't really want you to ever learn or grow or anything, how can they teach you properly? It's like it don't really make real sense. So it's kind of like somebody beating you in the face every day. Then all of a sudden they want to pick you up and say, "Now I want to help you." That don't even make sense. First, initially. Why in the heck would you be punching me in my face so hard all the time? And then, <laughs> what's wrong with you in the mind? Well, all of a sudden, now you want to help me. It, it would have to be something wrong with you to do something like that. Something absolutely wrong with you. Something. I, I want to just do whatever I think and whatever I feel. I create my rules. I define everything I do. Me. Nobody is a master over what I create. So, my gallery is going to be how I want it to be. You know what I mean? It's going to have the type of arts I want in it. And it's going to have the type of music I want to play. And that type of stuff. So, if somebody want to bite originality and freshness and creativity, go ahead. Go ahead. Can't bite these thoughts. They free flowing. Free flowing, dude. People always ask me why you don't paint the pictures on canvas and stuff like that. I said, because white people said you should paint on canvas and you should buy archival paper. And you should spend all your money on all these materials that you can't afford. So it always felt like for me painting was going to be a difficult process. So I said to myself, if I'm going to paint, just paint on anything. So all my life, whatever I find, it's better than painting on canvas. See, I never want to be boxed into this thing or forced to have to feel like I have to do anything. So I just do whatever I want to do whenever I feel like it. I don't have no master. Ooh, right on the page. Master. <laughs> For the from sundown to sun of the making of the black community. Hmm.